So I'm going to show you how we're going to begin our first um, sort of positive negative play design with um, what we learned about Notan. The very first thing that I'm going to encourage you to do is create a new document. And this new document, you do want to think about if you're going to start off with a shape that's going to be a perfect square, do I want to have a rectangular sheet of paper or do I want to have a square sheet of paper? Um, do I want one that is wider versus taller? So let's say I'm going to play around with that. I want to give you guys options. You could change that to eight and a half and then just type in 8.5 right there. And that will give you a perfectly square document. Okay. So that square document is now ready for me to get started. Now, if I didn't want a square, if I wanted to start with that rectangle, beautiful. I can go ahead and start with it. The very first thing I'm going to add though is my starting shape. I'm going to start off with a rectangle, but please realize as you get into level two and three, there are other options for how you start off. You don't always have to start off with a rectangle or a square. You can oftentimes start with like an ellipse and produce something that's really fantastic, but I really want you to start with a square for your first one. So some kind of a rectangle or square. So again, don't forget if you want a perfect square, you're going to want to hold down the shift key as you drag this out. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to see that perfect square is going to pop in there. And then you're going to go ahead and let go of it. To begin adding your fill, don't forget those terms. We've got our fill, which is the color that it's filled with, and our stroke, which is the outline. The outline is not going to be super, super important. And I would actually encourage you right now to do no outer stroke on any of your shapes. That is where some students have found they have a difficulty in lining things up. Those outer strokes are not quite matching. But my fill on this one is going to be black. Again, if you hover over the top, you're going to see on the very first row, you're going to see that you have no fill. Then you have um, this little crosshairs. Then you have white. And then you have black. So kind of keep it consistent. Go ahead and pop that back up. You're on your selection tool. And if you get this guy sort of in the middle. What you want to do is you want that intersection to happen. He's in the middle. Again, as you get further through, you may say, no, I would love to put mine off center right here. And I begin growing outwards here, almost like an explosion. Maybe that's your feel. Or it's up here and things start falling out of it. That's my feel. That's where I'm going. Again, watch for those pink lines. You're going to see those pink lines pop up and you're going to see that intersect right here pops up with center. I know that that is centered on my page, okay? There are other aligning tools in here. You could go ahead and you can align them through center. You can go ahead and horizontal align left, etc. So you've got those options available to you, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to begin probably with your pen tool. Don't forget control plus to zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin and you'll see my first one. I start and I'm just hovering. You'll see it goes right over that path. That's great. I know that it's going to end on that path nicely. I'm going to do a simple shape. I'm going to grab that, grab that, and then I'm going to close my shape. Don't forget, make sure you close up those shapes. That one right there, I'm now going to fill by going on my selection tool and selecting that pathway. I'm going to fill it with white. Okay? So right now, it looks like I took my first nibble out of this, um, out of this square. Remember, I have no outer stroke, so I'm not going to have that black line showing. Let me click off of it. So I have that black line showing up there. I don't want that. So I make sure that I have no outer stroke for any of my shapes. Okay? So that's what I have. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to copy the shape. I'm going to edit, copy, and then I'm going to edit, paste. There's that shape right there. And now we're going to learn a little bit more about flipping it. I can go ahead and I can put it exactly where it came from. I can fill that shape back with black. So it's, it's good to go. I'm filled. Looks like I've done nothing. But now I'm going to take that shape and I need to arrange it. Uh, I'm sorry, transform it. When I go into object transform, I need to reflect. Just like a mirror reflects your opposite, I need to reflect this shape. So I'm going to reflect on the horizontal, meaning it's going to flip it up or down. If I need something on the left or right hand side, I'm going to choose vertical. I can also put an angle in if that's helpful. So I'm going to click horizontal. 
and I'm going to click OK. My shape has now flipped and I'm going to move it up to the top. And you'll see right now I get those pink marks that say intersect. That is a beautiful join right there. But zoom in. Make sure that you've got a beautiful join. And if you don't, go ahead and select it. Use your keyboard arrows to nudge it where it needs to be. Those are now properly done. Now, of course, anyone who has a background in Illustrator, you could decide to grab this piece and you could subtract it from your outer piece or divide it and actually take and move that piece out. There are other ways of doing it, but for beginner Illustrator, it's probably the easiest for you to begin working like that. Okay, so I can get a little bit fancier with it, like right here if I wanted to... Let's say I'm going to go here. Notice again, if I wanted to perfectly line up with the peak, with the peak in here, I can go ahead and click there, and I'm going to click there, and I'm going to complete my shape. That's not completed. There we go. I'm going to anchor minus for some reason. What's going on? I'm intersecting right now. Sorry. There we go. And then I can grab that shape, select it, fill it with black. That one's done. I can now take that. You could use keyboard um, shortcut, control C and control V, which are really helpful. So keep that in mind. Copy, control V to paste. There's my copy. I'm going to change it to white. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to transform it by reflecting on the horizontal for this one and then I'm going to nest him in place. So that's my next step and let me control minus to zoom out. So that's almost like the idea of cutting a piece of paper and flipping it and moving it over to here. Okay now you have lots and lots of options. For example if I wanted to do a star I could grab that star. Don't forget arrows while I click and drag it out, I can use those arrows to increase the amount of points on that star. Direct selection, I could get that right there. I could even, let's say I want to get really fancy, I want to move that into there. Nudge it into place where I want it. Control plus, I don't like how that looks. I might nudge it a couple more with my keyboard arrows, maybe I love it. I could grab these two, or I could just go ahead and copy that one and paste it over to that side as well. But don't forget, if you want to, you can get complex shapes. I click on the one, I shift click on the next one, and then I need to go to my navigator. I'm sorry, my pathfinder. I'm then going to unite those shapes. They've now become one. Of course, I've got a little guy in the background. I think I selected him. I think I selected that shape. All right, well, I'm going to have to work with that because I need to make sure I deselect him. I don't want to select him as well. Now I'm going to unite it. He's, he's behind there. So again, there are levels to get you complex. There are ways to make it more complex for those of you that are finding this to be a little bit simple. But again, I want you to make sure that you are planning on how you're going to utilize your shape and what shapes you are using. Are you going with your pen tool? I'm going to start off on that path. I'm going to come out here. I want it to be like a nice big wave shape. And then I'm going to maybe finish it right here. And then I'm going to come in here. Now remember, you see how that kind of goes a little bit awry over here? I'm not too worried about that. I can fix that in a minute. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and come in here. Let's say you love it. I love that shape, though. Keep it like that, then. If you love that shape, keep it. Again, I'm going to Control-C, Copy, Control-V, Paste. Oop. Make sure I have everything. Control-C, Copy, Control-V, Paste. Change it to black. I'm going to Object, Transform, Reflect on the horse. I'm sorry, on the vertical now. And move that guy into place. Nudge that out there. Make sure it matches up really well. If it goes off your canvas, control zero. There we go. If it goes off your canvas, no problem. Okay? No worries. 
Now, if something is annoying you, you could um, you could select it and you could right click and Okay, I'm going to not tell you that. I don't want you to worry about it. If it's annoying, you call me over. There are ways to work around it. I would just rather you guys start to work with these shapes and start to get them to places where they need to be um, to make your first arrangement. Let's say that one's going there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to arrange and I'm going to bring it to the front. And then I'm going to copy, control C, control V to paste, change my fill to black. And then I'm going to move this guy into here so it matches okay so again really pay careful see how i'm looking for that intersect right there that pink line that means it's going to be aligned with the other one that's next to it so again i want you to think about how you're going to utilize this shape how you're going to utilize your space and how positive and negative are going to come into play so again you created a new document the document in this case happened to be a square but you can choose eight and a half by eleven vertical or horizontal you're using your pen tool, you're using your shape tools, no stroke, a black or a white fill, and you're using your object menu to transform, I'm sorry, yeah, to transform, using your edit menu to copy and paste. So again, keyboard shortcuts could be really, really helpful for that, so please keep that in mind. Control C, copy, Control V, paste. Um, and then start working on how that's going to happen. Again, if there's something that you're building in here that you despise, that's perfectly fine. Delete it, keep going. It's not like it's a piece of paper where you can't kind of tape it back without noticing it. And that is where we're going for today.